Main. Neal. He's got Clark leading short. On the lead, but he couldn't get there. Back to Neal. Mazungu in the congestion. And he could be in for a big number. The way he's started this one. Neal gets it out. Here he is again on cue. Walter started off the wing there. And Riscatelli all out for them. So it's almost an even spread of who's out. Neal, Blakely, Subin bangs Jeez. towards Lynch. Third man up, Ibbotson. Gathered his own ball. Under some pressure, though, the Dockers right now. Good tackle, ball held in. And a spot of bother. Lost their first 10 games in a row this season. Had a little purple patch for a while, the Dockers, but in a hole early here. Yeah. That's my 2K time trial. Yeah. <laughs> Neil couldn't get out of the jam. Umpire cuts in some touch play on the call. Now Chesky with a fist. Neil out wide. Mazungu. Back to Neil. Ad Hill flicks it to him. They're going backwards to go forward. Nickles through his legs. Langdon had it, dropped it, got it back again. Mundy. Neil a little fumble. Then he ducked, according to the umpire. And he's barreled. Oh. Gee, that's a bit hard. One up in game 301. Neil rolls it to half forwards, which the Suns built on. Back in the middle, Jonathan Griffin. Up against Nichols. Ruckman collide. Now they get a piece of it. Neil kicks it out of the middle. And good attack, Aaron. Got there. Gave a slick handball off. Sutcliffe back to Neil. And he drives one in the wall. Hubbard Fremantle, which has been good for him so far. Yep, their transitional footy has been really good. Let's have a look at the top five clearances on the ground. Lockie Neal, again, leading the way with six. He's a star, Lockie Neal, racking up plenty of the ball, and certainly his clearance work today has been first class. Playing again today, Blakely and Weller. Neal, here's Weller on cue for us. The 2.30s right, Clark, again. Neil got a handball out, going to ground, even though he nearly took legs out. Ibbotson. Neil. Walters. And a little battle that you have in that situation. You wouldn't have missed any games suspended in the 80s. <laughs> no, that's right. Would back been, then. It would have been a cult hero. It would have been. Griffin back. Oh, Subin. Hunter down in trouble. Martin. As we spoke about with uh, with Stephen May, he just come off the ground as well. So both sides are rotating. Well, as much I'm not sure he'd be prepared to take the play cut anyway. Neil, got to start after do some with Lockie Neil. 19 disposal. That's his seventh clearance. Three of this one. Crozier on hands and knees, almost thrown back over the ball. Right, having a big impact late here. Walters options on in the middle. Heads long towards hand. Lockie Neal had to get there quickly because Tom Lynch was closing in and to see the set shot history and that would suggest can't miss. Brian? I wouldn't say, don't say, <laughs> don't say. Straight through the middle. Yeah, it's in the book. He was going to make up that extra four or five metres. But uh, uh, real class there. And as you said, Lockie Neal just having a really big game. He can rack up big numbers. On three occasions he had, he's had over 40. And he's certainly on track to do that again. The deck. Sheridan dragged down, didn't have it. Pierce, Lockie Neal, Walters. Surely on track to eclipse those numbers. He's in a few players have their all time best ever on this ground as he turns this one over. The lead. Dockers have it now after the Gold Coast had it quarter time. Sexton had it there, lost it. Neal, another possession. Flicked it out. Bounce pass to right, threw it away. Mzungu, Neil. Neil gets it back from Crozier, feeds it back. A fairly ineffectual so far. Tabernard hasn't had a big game. Neil is having a big game. 23 possession, first half, and he's started well in the second. Through the legs of Lynch, taps it out. Played by Spur. Back with the flight of it. And Neil is heading for 50 for the afternoon. Happened, happened here before. To launch their forward 50s from deep in their own back half. Lockie Neal scrambles it away. May, sure, she had to go and get that handball. Lockie Neal, no one to go to. Subin, no one in the square, goes short and lace out to Yaron. 
Puts them into the top eight for the first time. Yeah, on their first three this year, the Suns kneels. Kick ricochets off his own man. Lock and kneel again, just out by himself. So, if he can get there, Sutcliffe hits him, holds it up. The best options, Miller is probably their best run with player. The other one... I don't know what their phone stock is like here. They've got Rodney in the other box who gets animated too. Again, the other inside 50s for the quarter. Just not able to impact the scoreboard. The Suns dominating so many facets of the game, but just not converting. Right now, I think they're getting a little frustrated as well with the congestion. Now, Tom Miller just left it behind. He knew what he wanted to do. Pierce. Walters. Good attack, Yaron. Neil. Yaron. A lot of things up. Um, he's probably going to improve for, as a coach because now he's in like the pocket. Lynch down there. Heel off hands. Wrapped up. Throws it away. Lockie Neil. Kept his feet. Good strength. Missed him with the pass. Spur got his arms free. Collins. Trapped. There's been some issues on, on Zach with uh, when Sandlands is out. Hasn't been able to produce his, his best football. The held up play whilst he's been across the margin now. Early fly, could knock down Clark, Main, Sheridan, and overcooks that handball.